I love that. That's awesome. Hey, everybody. Supply chain management was an obscure field before this COVID-19 pandemic. But like the Wizard of Oz, it's now out from behind the curtain. We've seen that supply chain performance is central to a host of economic and social issues that our faculty are actively exploring. Tonight, I'm going to try to unpack the SCM black box and the impact it has on us all. SCM is a boundary-spanning discipline that controls an organization's activities involved in sourcing, converting, and delivering the resources needed to fulfill customer needs, everything from jelly beans to skyscrapers. It encompasses sources of raw materials, manufacturing, final delivery, and moving that waste back into the value stream. Supply chain management represents three of the four key ways that organizations create value, including creating the right product or service to fulfill customers' needs, getting it to the customer when they want it, and getting it to the place where the customer wants to consume it. If this is done well, it results in organizational success. If customers get what they want, when and where they need it, and it's done efficiently, sales and profits increase. Smart firms then invest that profit in new products, services, and staff. Amazon, for example, succeeds by enabling us to shop from our couch in our sweats, or less, and have the product show up at our door in days or even hours. Every organization has a supply chain, even a university. The state provides a university with a budget to buy the tools needed to educate the population. Faculty serve as the operations hub for creating and disseminating knowledge, our key product, and students recognize the value of this product and pay tuition to access it. The COVID pandemic enabled us to see what happens if the supply chain falls apart. What happened was first, lockdowns forced people to stop doing things like going out to eat or going to football games. Instead, they bought more of the things that we could do from home, like use toilet paper or exercise machines. <laughs> At the same time this was going on, workers were not able to go to factories or warehouses or drive trucks or ships, so we couldn't get what we needed through the supply chain and to us as consumers. When things finally started reopening, all of those previously unfilled orders started getting filled and clogged the global supply chain. Remember those ships offshore in Long Beach in LA. These same demand and supply phenomena hit universities as students cancel or delayed matriculation while states cut budgets because of low tax money. These decisions have had a major impact on universities' ability to fulfill their mission. And you can see here that in the last three years, undergraduate enrollment nationwide decreased by 660,000. The COVID experience also revealed supply chain's impacts on society. In addition to being, able to una being unable to get the products we need, supply chain disruptions impacted the cost of things we buy, and shortages have contributed to inflation. We've also seen that supply chains impact labor and employment, climate change, and food and health care. Reductions in supply chain costs over the last 40 years have provided a sustained increase in the cash available to households to spend on things other than basic necessities. However, the impact of COVID followed immediately by the Russia-Ukraine war caused significant cost increases in goods and services, resulting in high inflation. Also, in its broadest sense, upwards of 70% of workers work to either source, make, or deliver products and services. And when disruptions curb demand, people don't buy that stuff and layoffs result. The huge employment that we, unemployment we experienced didn't decrease until operating facilities reopened. Supply chain management has a significant impact on other social issues of our time, including climate change. Some 60% of carbon emissions come from supply chain operations, including transportation and manufacturing. And improved supply chain management can help us impact these kinds of uh, outputs. For example, trucks today going down the highway, on average, move with about 35% empty space. And factories we know are notorious for waste they produce. New supply chain digital tools are enabling us to fill up those trucks, taking many off the road and cutting emissions. Designs for new manufacturing plants are using natural light instead of electricity and recycling the water they use. Supply chains also have a major impact on the waste we put in landfills and waterways. 80% of packaging materials end up in landfills, and major supply chain initiatives are focused on reducing, reusing, or recycling those materials. Here's my favorite. A Danish brewer, Carlsberg, sells six packs held together with glue instead of plastic rings. Supply chains play a role in bringing underrepresented and diverse groups into the mainstream of business, 
procurement specialists at companies like Target, P&G, Colgate, and Cummins are looking outside of the typical sources of supply to find vendor companies owned by diverse business people. Oh, I can't find my page. I'm going to have to race through this one. Supply chain is one of my favorite ones. Supply chain practices in developing markets have helped improve food availability by increasing the knowledge we have about the outputs. Um, that picture was of farmers of dairy cows that are using biometric data of those cows to increase milk yield by up to like 30%. Supply chain innovations are ensuring better access to health care. This company, Zipline, uses drones to deliver medicines and blood products to hospitals in rural Africa, counties in Alabama as well. <laughs> SCM is important. No kidding. That's serious. SCM is important to national security as governments realize that access to medical devices, energy, metals, semiconductors, and even fertilizer is critical. As a result, a lot of companies are working together with governments to resource where those items come from and redevelop domestic capabilities to ensure resistance to disruption. Finally, supply chain managers find themselves on the front lines of new skills and talent requirements. Increasing digitalization and autonomous technology requires a dramatic shift in the nature of jobs and the way we educate people to be qualified for those jobs. Several years ago, we ran a survey with freshman undergrads and their impression of a supply chain major was that it would prepare them to drive trucks. Not to denigrate truck, I'm serious about that. Not to denigrate truck drivers. They're absolutely essential to our economy. But I hope this presentation serves to give you a broader understanding of what SCM is about and why it's rising in importance to private and public enterprise and society. Thank you.